I'm joined by State Representative Gerald Green, and uh, which uh, covers the northwest corner of Darty County as well as eight other counties, and um, and um, and and here at the Rise and Shine Breakfast, uh, sponsored by the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce. And my question is, um, um, what are you, what are the challenges um, uh, you're facing uh, uh, going into the next year's General Assembly? One of the major challenges that we have that's uh, uh, facing all of us is to work to have a workforce in the state of Georgia that will bring in our uh, the different companies that are looking for a trained workforce. And we need to work continuously, as the governor has already pointed out in recent meetings, that. Uh, we have an opportunity to bring in other companies if we have that workforce. And in, um, and where does um, Albany and Doherty County fit specifically in this? This is uh, one of the challenges uh, that we're faced with because Albany is sort of the hub of our history and whatever affects uh, Albany will certainly and Doherty County will affect the rest of our uh, region. And, um, and um, what do you and um, what do you what do you what do you expect to happen if you pass your bills um, proposed bills for for next year? Well, we got a lot of bills that are already pending that are left over from last year, and at the same time, new bills will be introduced. So we're going to have to wait and see what's going to be on the agenda uh, as we move forward uh, this next year. And thank you very much, uh, General Green, State Representative for House District 151. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm joined by State Representative Ed Reinders, uh, representing House District 152, and um, and I we're both here at the uh, Rise and Shine uh, Legislative Affairs Breakfast, sponsored by the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce. And um, first question, uh, Representative Reinders, um, um, what are your thoughts um, um, on? Uh, the state of Southwest Georgia going into next year's legislative session? Well, I've been fortunate that Speaker Ralston has appointed me to the Rural Economic Development Council. We've crisscrossed the state trying to get a fact-finding mission on what we can do to ensure that there's economic opportunity throughout the entire state. As you're aware, Georgia has been named for the fifth year in a row the number one place to do business, the number one state to do business. We want to make sure that uh, that everybody in Georgia and throughout the country know what's available throughout rural Georgia. And um, and um, um, what is? And uh, you mentioned that um, Georgia has been named the one one state uh, to do business, and for the fifth straight year. And um, um, what is behind that? What's been behind that? And um, what makes Georgia a great state to do business in? I, I think first and foremost is that we have an excellent business climate uh, with a good network of support. We've got uh, uh, tax rates that are extremely competitive that makes corporate America and internationally want to look at Georgia as a place to do that. You add that with Hartsville, you add that with the Port of Savannah, the infrastructure is also in place so people can be able to move their products and goods. And, um, and what about the challenges um, Albany specifically faces? Well specifically in Southwest Georgia we've got to work on things like education, we've got to work on things like broadband infrastructure, access to quality affordable health care, as well as a variety of issues and soft skills for workforce development and making sure that people know uh, uh, some of the great things that we have to offer. And uh, thank you very much uh, Representative Ed Reinders.